Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. Welcome to a special episode. Today, we're going to be ringing in the new year with my game, Battleburks. Um, for those of you who haven't followed the channel for too long, I made a game called Battlemerks, which is an homage to the Crescent Hawks Battletech games that I grew up on and which I've played on the channel many times. Um, also, MechWarrior 1. Now, if you have followed the channel, you do know that I announced this game back in the summer and I was doing some work on it at the time, and I basically dropped off the planet uh, around August, maybe. Uh, I haven't been on the Discord in months, and truthfully, if you are watching this and you're a fan of the game, I, I sincerely do apologize. I, I feel really bad that I basically had to walk away from the game for a while, but literally I just don't have time in my life, and it's one of those things where... I kind of can't do it. I can't kind of can't half do it. I either have to be in on it or else it's just too much of a distraction. So yes, I, I, I did uh, sort of walk away from it. But um, I have sort of scattered hints as we've been playing different games and stuff telling you, don't worry, I haven't abandoned it forever. And uh, indeed, I haven't. Um, and, you know, it's not like the game is... Uh, hugely different from last time you saw it, but there have been a handful of changes and I will be releasing this in the new year. And the other announcement regarding this game is that due to my time constraints, the thing that I feel like I haven't been able to make progress on with this game is making maps and campaigns and stuff. And I was working on that near the end of the summer being like, I'll make a full finished campaign and that will sort of highlight everything this game can do. And then I'll sort of put it out in a more official capacity. And truthfully, being stuck on making that campaign is what made me have to walk away and quit working on it for a while. So I think what I've decided is we're going to schedule a live stream in the new year uh, at some point. And in that live stream, we will go start to finish making maps, making a campaign, editing the JSON files, all that stuff. And you can ask questions. We'll do it live, so sort of interactive. And my goal is to show people the inner workings of the game's data files enough so that people can make their own maps and stuff so you're not just dependent on waiting for me to do it. Because I'm not giving up on it, but I may start to be very slow on that front. However, there are some cool new features to the game tier today. Also, it's New Year's Eve. Let's just play a game, man. What's all this talking? Let's just play a game. So we're going to go ahead and start a new career here. And uh, you get to pick which era you want to uh, fight in. So do you want to go classic 3025, 3030, and 3039? The tech doesn't change too much, but um, the map, the world, the universe map does a bit. 3049 and 50, obviously, when the clans show up. We're going to go for classic 3025, although I uh, may change the era later, depending on how I feel. Um, for any of you who have followed the channel for years, you know that on New Year's Eve, we do a very, like, low-key kind of game, and we just sort of play around, and um, so I'm not holding myself to some sort of, like, really hard, like, I'm going to 100% this game, because uh, even though I made it, I don't even think I could, um, but anyway, we're going to go with House Davian or Davian, however you say it, and uh, we're going to start on easy, just, again, nice, light, easy game here today, so here's the world of, I guess we're on Baxley, so if we do check the starport, where the heck is that? Okay, so we are here. A real backwater world of absolutely no importance. Okay, we're gonna, let's start off here. Um, and let's see what mechs we spawned with. Okay, we got a blackjack, an ostrock. I like the ostrock. The blackjack's okay. I don't like the autocannon too, so we could always pull them off if we really want. Mm. Crusader and enforcer, all right. Oh, and our crew, we got Hurricane, Rashki, Catlow, Danger, Winona Danger, Wildner, and Carter Singh. All right, and they seem, ooh, Catlow is really good. He's a high experienced pilot. The rest are decent. Now, funny story with this Let's Play, I recorded an entire two hour Let's Play of this game, um, and then I quit. Uh, because I encountered a bug, and then I spent the last two days basically working on the code, adding new features, fixing bugs, and so now I'm basically re-recording. So if you want to see that uh, that original episode, I'll throw it up on my Patreon, uh, Patreon as a bonus special, so you can see the original <laughs> New Year's Eve episode. 
Um, and this is what I mean why, with this game, how I, I can't be half in. Like, I literally sat down to play this game, played it for two hours, but as I was playing, I was like, check, 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 making a list of things I wanted to fix, and then I had to go back in and code for the next two days. So it really is one of those things where if you ever make your own game, it's almost hard to play your own game because as you're playing it, you're always thinking about new things that you could add and stuff like that. But anyway, entering the ancient Star League building, you pass several Comstar acolytes, faces shrouded in heavy robes. An almost religious feeling overcomes you as you watch the operants chant uh, and operate uh, the ancient machinery. All right, let's check what kind of contracts we have going on here. Um, and I'll talk about the new features uh, sort of as we encounter them. One of the new features, by the way, is anytime you're fighting against pirates, rebels, or that's also pirates, rebels, you can also have bandits. Um, they will come into combat pre-damaged. So these sort of like outlier kind of pirate bandit uh, groups, they don't necessarily have their mechs in full repair. So that's kind of a fun new feature. Um, but let's find a mission we can actually do here. Medium pirate scout force. Small rebel scout force. We have decent mechs and decent pilots. I'm inclined to take on like a bigger force. Let's do this and let's try and get a little bit more salvage. But it's the salvage right options you want. So salvage rights is how many picks do you get and options is like how big is the list you get to choose from. So in fact, you don't need a ton of salvage rights typically because you just want to see a bunch of options because if there's a mech in there to salvage, you definitely want to probably roll the dice and try and take that. Um, how about two salvage rights, take a bit less money, and I only need four units. They accepted. We have the contract. All right. Well, that's good. Um, now, what else do we want to do? Uh, let's just see if there's any available pilots. I want to start building up a slightly better crew. Um, let's see. Four for gunnery will be my minimum. I'm not as concerned about a piloting skill, but one for gunnery, no thanks. One for gunnery, no thanks. Two, no thanks. Three, there's a lot of people for hire here. Not no one else. All right. Um, here's another cool feature. Let's go to the mech bay for a second and try and buy a mech. And oh, look, the mechs that are for sale come with variable amounts of pre-damage. They can even come destroyed and then you have to rebuild them. Um, this is this is how it used to be in Mech Warrior One, and in the earlier, the current version of my game, if if you have been playing it, the mechs for sale are always tip top shape, they're always fully repaired. But uh, I long had on my to do list, we should make it so that they're like pre damaged. So it's like, yeah, you might find a mech for a good price, but if it's destroyed, you have to rebuild it. It's going to cost more money. Um, but that said, I don't think there's anything here I really want. So we'll just we'll leave that as is those mechs weren't too good all right off on the mission um so let's set up our crew here so we have one elite he's definitely coming into combat and then we have some good pilots we should start to we should get a fifth mech and start bringing this guy into combat because he will gain experience even if he's not in the center of fights but we're going to leave him out of this first one i think um Crusader, Blackjack, and Enforcer. All right, let's go mess up some light mechs. All right, now, well, oh, here's another cool feature. If you press Escape, you used to just get a prompt that said, do you want to quit? But now you actually get, you can still quit. You can still abandon your mission. You'll get a warning this is going to harm your reputation. Um, but you also get the mission that you're on. So if you forget what you're supposed to do. Like I frequently do uh, in games I play. So the Federated Suns has employed us against uh, the pirates, force of pirates. Small recon force is active in this region. Find them and eliminate them. Should be pretty easy. We've already got our advance. So this is, and it also kind of shows you like what's on the stake, what's at stake if you do abandon your mission. So we're going to lose 675,000 sea bills. We've already got this though. Um, and we're going to lose our salvage rights. But we are not abandoning our mission. Far from it. Um, oh, I see light mechs already. They want a tango. A spider and a fire starter. Um, and again, they come pre-damaged. Like, I haven't hit this guy yet, and you can see he's already got a little bit of damage. So that's kind of fun. 
Now, if you fight either houses or the clans or something, they're gonna come in in tip-top shape. They ain't coming in pre-damaged. Um, so that is, you know, uh, that, that still holds true. No easy pickings against clans. Uh, the pirates also tend to be green, so they're firing so much that they're overheating their mechs. Makes them easy pickings. So, bandits and pirates, they're nice, good starter mechs to murder. Oh, there's a couple of, uh, even had a pair of urban mechs in the mix. Well, down you guys go. It's foolish of you to dare engage me. Alright, so that was a pretty easy mission. Alright, here's my salvage. I have two picks. And yeah, see, there's nothing of interest. Uh, so you can take, like, weapons and stuff, and we can mod our units later. I don't want a single flamer, though. And then, like, armor plates, you could use this to instantly repair the armor on one of your mechs. You may be like, well, what's the point of that? You might as well just do it in the starport. But I'm going to show you, I've added a whole new style of mission where you might want to do this. Um, and weapon parts lets you repair weapons on a, a damaged mech. We'll just take two hunks of scrap, which are sold for sea bills. So 133. So we got an extra 350,000 out of, no, 300,000, whatever. We got a good amount of extra cash out of that. So we made about a million bucks. Um, let's see. Our repair bills are pretty mod modest. Usually if you're just repairing armor and internal damage, armor is especially cheap, but armor and internals, you're not paying too much. It's when the mechs get destroyed or you have to buy new weapons that got wiped out or something, then your bills go up. But, uh, let's see what he got for sale. Nothing too much in there. Let's see what kind of missions there are here. Um, hmm. Base raid. Actually got pretty good salvage rights. I was going to not do it, but then they had pretty good salvage rights there. Um, okay, let's buy an extra mech. Ah, oh, but these mechs suck. I mean, I guess we could do something with the Valkyrie. How many tons is it? 30 tons? 96 armor points? That's not nothing. That's not nothing. And an LRM-10. Okay. Uh, but it's only a five. Okay, no, never mind. Um, debating, debating. All right, let's let's do the mission. <laughs> We're not going to have five mechs, but... Um, okay, can we get... That's maxed out. Um, this... Oh, 200 is as high as it goes. We might not even be able to take all four of our mechs anyway. Um... Okay, we'll just take the contract as is, basically. Don't want to fiddle around too much. Like, three salvage rights and eight options. Eight is the highest it goes. That's pretty good. Um, oh, and the max... So, there is one bug left in the game which I haven't fixed, which I'll fix at some point, but I'll release it now so you can play with the new features before I do that. But the maximum tonnage is a little screwed up sometimes. But it's screwed up in a positive way, where whatever the tonnage it says is the max, when you get your contract, it sometimes is actually higher than that, so. A, a bug that helps players. Is it a bug? Is it a feature? Who knows? Um, I'm tempted. Oh, wow, this guy, like, maxed out on that last mission. I'm tempted to bring this guy in. So let's leave danger in, because, so... He's about to level up. This is like the experience bar. He's right at the tippy top max. He's about to level up. But I would like to get Tamarin up. So let's take out... Singh is just at the beginning of his experience for his skills. So we'll throw Tamarin in there. Oh, he only has two hits. This is the pilot hits. If the pilots take damage, they can literally die. Oh no, my elite guy only has two hits too. Hey. They all have like the same, I didn't even notice, three of my four guys have the same, uh, whatchamacallit, um, thumbnail. That's pretty funny. I'm a gang of triplets going into combat. All right, my mission I think was a base raid. Gauging in a strategic raid to destroy key facility. So we only need to destroy the, the building, but if we want to get salvage, we have to destroy the salvage. So there's the key building. Over there. 
Let's all head over here and see if we can see some enemies. And this thing looks unguarded. Oh, we got a... Probably a patrol group coming to engage us. Two Jenners. And some Valkyries. That's actually... I mean, those are light mechs, but that's like a fair, fairly formidable crew of units. I like my medium laser's been damaged. Alright, we got them. What are my guys doing? Yeah, it's really this main guy who took the most damage. Alright, let's see. So, there should be guards. Now, the interesting thing about guards is even if they see you, they won't necessarily engage unless they get fired upon. But I actually don't even see any guards. Let's see if we can take this building down. I think we got it. Target building collapses. The evac zone has been marked. Head to the evac site now. All right. Oh, there were some guards. Oh my god, they were all on the other side of the building. <laughs> they never came to defend. One day I'll improve the AI for uh, these defense missions, but... Um, if we kill all the enemies and we don't even have to get to the evac zone... Yeah, you just win anyway. So, we kill them. Alright, damage chassis. This is what we wanted, but only a 15% chance to salvage. That is garbage. We'll roll the dice. We have three picks. And nothing else is too exciting, so... Uh, it was a wasp. Unsalvageable, though. That was one of our picks. Let's, I guess... I was going to grab the medium laser for salvage, but I'm just going to take money. I can always buy a medium laser if I really want. All right. Well. Pair our guys up. Leave. Just see if there's any other good pilots. Oh, there's not even anyone looking for a job. All right. Let's, um... See what other planets we got here. So, known for its whale, seals, and aquatic life. I want to go to a slightly more active planet. So basically the way it works is if you're in the periphery, far from borders, you get sort of the easiest contracts, but they're against like bandits and stuff and light mechs. As you move more towards the borders, um, you start to get like more and more complex and harder contracts. And again, there's a whole new kind of contract I want to show you guys today. Um, let's try Hobbs. That might be a little close to the border. The missions might be a little hard. Let's just sort of see what caliber they're offering over here. All right. Base assaults, defense of a supply depot. And here is a new mission type. A second line combat campaign. So... You can get solo missions just like you always could, but you can also get these, they're called long-term campaigns. And it's a string of three or four different missions, one after the other. And you don't get to come back to the starport and repair your mechs in between missions. You still get salvage. Like you actually get much higher salvage rights on these missions, but you have 15 picks over three or four missions so if after the first mission you see 10 things you want to salvage well there goes 10 of your 15 picks now the rest of the missions you got to make do with what you got the other thing is you may have to use some of these salvage rights in order to for instance uh repair units so that that armor repair or the internal repair or the weapon repair option in the salvage menu you might actually want to use that on some of these missions so that you can your mechs can be repaired up enough to go into the next fight so this one uh medium scout forces so this seems like we could do this medium scout forces are doable i'm gonna take this mission um and i mean everything looks good i don't want to negotiate too much here because i might negotiate myself out of a good part like i'm just salivating at all these salvage rights so i'm just straight up going to accept this contract um and we got, our advance was 1.5 million. That was more than we were making when we were doing uh, other missions. But keep in mind, this is not one mission. This is going to be like four missions. With, with salvage rights as high as that, I guarantee we're doing at least four missions. 
And so I probably want to bring another mech or two into combat. Um, I'll grab an enforcer. And I'm going to grab a Valkyrie. I'll repair these up. They were actually in pretty good shape too. Okay, actually I made a mistake. My finger slipped and I touched a button. Because this is the developer version of this, this is in a debug mode. Um, so there's like a cheat button to give yourself a bunch of money in mechs. I accidentally pressed the button, so now I have $59 million. But I want to play this one honestly, so we're going to get rid of all that. Uh, but I think I also gave myself a ton of salvage. Uh, oh, this seems so unfair. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go and sell all this stuff. Take me to the speed shop, sell some stuff. Okay, n none of this stuff had we earned yet, so we're gonna dump all this. And I need to fire a bunch of pilots to, uh... We're suddenly added. I got like legendary and elite pilots added to my crew. So yeah, in the developer version of this, I do have a cheap button because when you're testing missions, sometimes you're like, I just, I, I need like a full uh, set of people. Crap, and everyone turned elite. Oh no, what should we do? Oh, that's so cheap. Okay, well, uh, return to the main menu. I'm, I'm just going to restart. Silly me. Didn't mean to cheat, guys, I swear. And let's see. Okay, so now we have an assassin, a Jaeger mech, a centurion, and enforcer. We can work with that. And we got crew. Um, let's travel to ba back to where we were. We were on Hobbs, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm going to save my game. We'll call this uh, the No Cheating Game. Oh my god. And. The cheap button just added a bunch of money. Uh, I forgot the M key adds a bunch of money. Okay, I got I got to turn the debug keys off. Bear with me, guys. I, I'm trying not to cheat. And look at this. I have a hundred million dollars. Can't not cheat. See, these are the challenges that come about when you try to play your own game, man. It's in like developer mode. You forget. You like cheat your way to like an easy victory. All right, what kind of mix do we have now? Valkyrie, a dervish. Interesting, and two enforcers. I don't like those mechs as much, but we're going to roll with the punches. So we do have three elite pilots. Wow. Okay, let's see if we can hire... Oh, we'll take her. Shy guy. Anyone else? Betchel. Oops. Okay, and can we buy... Okay, here's what I'm going to do, just for the sake of, like, catching us up. This this time I'm cheating intentionally. I'm going to throw two million bucks onto my account. We're going to buy those two Valkyries. Um, now that cheat menu that I just did, that's available to everybody. Just in the game. Um, okay. And we'll repair those guys up. Alright, now we're we're close. We have one extra mech compared to where we were. Three Valkyries, interesting. I feel like our overall force is a little lighter than what we had. Uh, for the third time, let's go back to uh, Hobbs. Let's save our game again, the no cheating game, for realsies this time. Um, what kind of mechs do they have for sale, actually? Ooh, a Firestarter and a Jenner. Hmm. And a Hermes. I do love me some fire starters. Too bad I can't afford it. All right, let's see if we can find a long-term contract. We cannot. That's okay. We'll we'll start with a normal mission. Um, destruction of an ammo dump against a medium skirmish force. I think I could handle that. Um, I just need to know how much my mechs add up to, tonnage wise. So that's. 80, well, okay, hold on, 105, 135, 185, 215, 24, so 250 is enough tonnage for me. Oh, and I can't go past 220, interesting. All right, well, I can't take all my units then. And that's maxed out, so might as well give me another salvage, right? Huh, 
I traded one less unit, which I couldn't take anyway. Oh, but now it's a 380 ton max. Yeah, I, oh, I really got to fix that. <laughs> the thing is, you can't count on it, so it's not like you can anticipate being able to cheat the weight limit. But there's there's some little glitch. Who knows? Maybe before I actually put this out to you guys, I'll fix that. But for right now, it ain't fixed. So really, I could have taken all my units, but you live, you learn. All right, elite, elite. We have Paulson, Ghost, Ranger, Shy Guy. And I'm going to bring Betchel. So that, uh, get some experience. Okay, and I think I can re... I need to do this. But there was a way to like reclassify what group they were in. One, two. Can I do control two? Well, that doesn't work. All right, well, whatever. Uh, this is our main attack force. These are our scouting units. Okay, and we need to destroy that depot. Well, at least we know where the enemies are going to be. So my light guys, it's interesting to have light mechs that are long range. Like they just have LRM-10s. Oh, there's some patrols coming over here. Hermes and Shadowhawks. Uh oh, and a hunchback. Do not engage. Do not engage up close. The hunchback is trouble. Right, keep running. Okay, that was a shadow hawk. That guy's easy pickings. I think that, oh, that, I was going to say, I think that Hunchback is in range, but it was the Shadowhawk hitting us with its autocannon 5. I fear the autocannon 20 that the uh, Hunchback I know is mounting. That thing is uh, no joke. I'm like already out of LRM ammo. Come on, buddy. Don't you want to get us? He's thinking about it. He's, he's like debating between the fact that he's supposed to guard his post and that uh, he really wants to kill us. Oh, God. Oh, one of my mechs just went down. That's unfortunate. All right, Whitworth. You're going down, too. I'll take down another mech, please. There we go. Okay, any others? We could destroy this factory building. But, uh... Oh God, maybe we should. Oops, what the heck? What happened there? Oh, I, like, right-clicked on the menu. It's weird. Oh, God. Oh, no, I lost another mech. This is going poorly. I don't know if I have the firepower left to take out these two guys. It's like questionable whether we're going to actually win this mission or not. Oh, okay, good. We got one. Oh my god, one more hit and he's done. Jeez. Okay. Oh my god. Oh god, oh no, we're lost. We're going to lose. Wow, we're done. Oh, we failed that R so hardcore. I guarantee you that mech was the last one we had to deal with. Oof, we can't even afford all of our repair bills. I think we're gonna have to sell a mech. Uh, let us sell, yeah, that one. We'll patch up our remaining mechs. Well, that sucked. Didn't get paid. Didn't get salvage. Ah, uh, here we go. Large skirmish forces. Okay, we definitely cannot handle that. 
So I think there's sort of like code in the contracts. Like scout forces tend to be light. Skirmish forces are like medium-ish mechs. Then there's like combat and assault forces. So you can guess the weight class of those ones. Let's try NOTAC here. It's known for its whales and aquatic life. How, how, how treacherous can the fighting be here? Oh, they're selling a Centurion. For only three million. That is like a banger of a deal, actually. It's like the same cost as a Jenner. Can we... Is there any way we could sell a mech or two to afford it? Uh, all of our mechs are not worth... You know what we could do is try and get like a crazy advance. Let's see. Destruction of an ammo depot. Elimination of a garrison. Hmm. This one's probably... So anything against scout mechs is a lot... Except large, that would be a lot of them. Small skirmish force. I mean, that's just probably a lance of medium mechs. Yeah, how about a medium scout force? But here's an idea. How much is the maximum advance? <laughs> oh, it goes quite high, actually. Okay, if you give me 3 million, then I can buy that Centurion. You know what? I will do this for no salvage, no nothing. Oh, he countered. Five units, three and a half. Three point. I feel like that's a done deal. Let's do it. 3.25 million advance, and there's literally nothing else. I mean... Sadly, it's kind of an exploit. You could literally just cancel your contract at this point. You take a reputation hit, but at least um, you'd have the money. But, uh, wow. We actually got the Centurion. That's pretty good, actually. Um, can I repair it? Do I have enough money? Oh, I can't even. Perfect. Wow. So, now what do I have? A Dervish Enforcer Enforcer. I have a full lance of medium mechs. It's pretty good. And then two light scouts. I'm going to have some crew. All right. You know what? We had a terrible first mission, but we're bouncing back. Um, Centurion, Dervish, Enforcer. I think what I would like to do is either mod the Enforcers to get the autocannons off of them, because autocannon tends are okay but they they need more ammo or actually maybe i would pull the meat the large laser off and throw more ammo and another medium laser on maybe that's that sounds like a good idea or i'll just get rid of the enforcers altogether um and one valkyrie all right destroy locate and destroy all enemies i will do that guess what i think i'm going to locate and probably destroy all enemies. All right, so they're down here somewhere. Yeah, you can kind of tell by the footprint patterns. Okay, there's a hunch. Oh my god, more hunchbacks. Try and engage him from a distance. I feel like, you know what, it was that autocannon 20 that did me in last time. They focus on the hunchback people. Okay. There's some wasps. Oh my god, so many hunchbacks! We better take them down while we still have uh, LRM ammo. No one to run out of ammo and have to engage those guys. The wasps, I'm like not even concerned about. Okay, we got another one. Once we get this last hunchback down, we're just on to panthers and stuff. We're about, literally about to run out of all of our ammo, though. Oh, he's close. I think he got a hit or two on, on us. Alright. Um, let's go for the panther. Take him down, boys! We're gonna lose uh, the Valkyrie. Okay, I'm gonna send you off just to avoid combat. Oh, he just instantly died. All right. Well, that happened. 
All right, we took out like six of theirs, only lost one. That's pretty good. The interesting thing about being a mercenary is it's not whether you're going to win the contract. You probably win 90%, but how much damage you take to win. Because you can win a contract, but like lose. If you know what I mean, where like technically you win, but you took so much damage, like was it worth it? Because like, look at this. We can't even technically afford to fix our Valkyrie. We are bone dry in terms of cash. Our cash inflow is non-existent. Um, okay. No long-term contracts here. We will do long, a few long-term contracts today. We'll do it, people. So it was my New Year's miracle promise to you. What are you guys doing for New Year's, by the way? Speaking of, it is the end, the end of a year of gaming for us. What are you guys doing? Are you looking are you looking forward to anything in the new year? Do you have any fond memories of something we did together on the channel? Sound off in the comments down below. If so, like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to click that bell for notifications. Blah, blah, blah. Um, elimination of patrol forces. These are also an attack force. <laughs> A medium attack force. Wow, okay. These, these are just... This is just too much. I'm not comfortable taking missions of that caliber. I need to go somewhere, but I only have 26,000. Can I afford to go anywhere? I can go to Hobbs. Can't afford that. Can't afford that. Can't afford that. Can't afford that. I can literally only go to Hobbs. I guess that's where we're going. I have 8,000 C bills to my name. I mean, I could always sell a mech if I have to. Sell that broken Valkyrie. All right, medium scout force. Wow. If they're letting me bring 11 units, how big is this scout force? <laughs> oh, here's a long-term campaign. Medium scout force. Okay. I think, I'll, I'm, I think I'm going to take that. I just want to check something real quick here. If we come in here... I have a Jenner, which sort of interests me, I guess. Blackjack... You know what I should do? Um, start considering modding those enforcers. Yeah. Okay, let's um, let's do this. Let's um, we'll take that contract. That'll give us some money to play with too. Long term contract. Medium scout forces. So that will tend to be light max. And it'll be more than a lance for sure, on average. Some missions might have a lot of units and some might have a few, but on average, I don't know. There might maybe, you know, a lance and a half. Um, let's see if we can negotiate this up a bit, though. Because I could definitely use a bit more money. What they say? Okay. I think they just countered that down a bit. I'll take it. I'm desperate. All right, let's um let's mod some mechs. So this guy has okay, he has an SRM4 and he has SRM4 ammo. He also has a couple SRM2s and SRM2 ammos and medium lasers. All right, we're going to buy him out of parts now. Let's see. <clears throat> Who do we want to mod? Oh, and should, I guess we should repair our Valkyrie. Oh, 300,000. Wow. All right. Repaired. Um, all right. Speed shop. Let's mod our mechs a little bit. So it's the enforcer that I feel like is a bit of a problem. So the large laser is five tons okay so man you could also almost put an srm4 and two ammo packs for it plus a medium laser i feel like that's pretty good bit of one large laser yeah all right so i'm gonna take that off I'm going to throw an SRM4 on. I'm going to throw on two tons of ammo. Those tons of ammo. 
literally tons. And I'll put a medium laser where the large laser used to be. There we go. I think the, the, the range is down a bit because he wanted the large laser, but I think that's pretty good. Um, okay. So there's one. The only problem is I don't really have any, uh, any parts to do too much with the rest. The thing I like about the Centurion is it has tons of ammo. Literally double ammo for both Auto Cannon 10 and our LRM. The Enforcers aren't bad, but it's like it needs more ammo. If I had Auto Cannon 10 ammo, I'd throw the large laser away and throw on more of this. Because Auto Cannon 10s are pretty good. But I don't think I have any other parts, really. Tech. I guess I have the SRM 2s. Could throw those on one, two, four. Five. All right, I, I'll mod. So my enforcers um, are becoming shorter range brawlers, I guess. Uh, mod a mech. Okay, we're going to mod this guy. Okay, we're going to drop this. We're going to throw one, two, and three and four and five there you go interesting how one has an srm4 with two tons ammo and one has two srm2s it's kind of the exact same thing it's kind of interesting actually right like it's interesting it's like two ways of doing the exact same thing um all right i could sell the large lasers but I don't think I really need the money at the moment, so we'll just hold them just in case. All right. Um, last thing before we go on this campaign. Oh, there's literally no one to hire, so it doesn't even matter. I'm pretty sure this planet also doesn't have a black market. No, it does not. All right. <clears throat> Let us... So this is mission one of four. This is going to be a long haul. Okay, so we can bring all of our mechs. So let's do it. And bring this guy too. Oh wait, why is there a green guy in there? Bulletproof. You have to go in the good or mech. The good or better one. All right, so we got our sort of enforcer crew. And yeah. All right, we remain tasked with protecting a key supply depot from an incoming raid. We expect enemy forces to attempt to raid our depot. Payment depends on your ability to protect the key facilities. All right. I'm going to have these guys sort of be the lookouts on top of the hill. Oh. Oh no, they're coming from all directions. Oh god, they're damaging the building significantly. Fight them off, boys. Fight them off. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, this building's going down, man. We did not have enough to protect this. Destroy them. Destroy them. They're fleeing like cowards. Get them. Oh, that one's going down, that's for sure. So I think we just lost this campaign. I actually haven't tested this scenario. Um, and we failed to defend the target building. We still get our salvage, but then I think this is it. So we may as well salvage everything. Um, well, 40% chance. Ooh, we got a Wolverine. Uh, that kind of sucks, but... Trebuchet, no dice. Shadowhawk, no dice. Take this. Ooh, LRM 10 bays. I will want to take those. Um, all right, so this guy has damaged weapons, so we'll use these weapon parts to restore his weapons. 
Um, I think he also has the most destroyed internals, so we'll repair his internals, get some scrap, and done. Yeah, we just failed. So right now, the way the campaigns work is if you fail one mission, you're just done. So all of that, and we just totally failed. Um, the campaigns do need a little work. I, I do want to like make them a little more sophisticated. Uh, I think I'm literally just going to sell this Wolverine. Worth more to me is scrap. Maybe I will uh, take some parts off at first. To mod a mech. I will save the SRM and the medium laser. The autocannon 5 I'll let go. Um, sell a mech. Bye, Wolverine. <clears throat> it was fun. Um, ooh, they got more enforcers for sale. And a panther. Hmm. Panthers are not terrible. I also like the fact that they have PPCs. 104 armor. <clears throat> I might buy that. Don't have to make a decision just yet. All right. Base rate. I think we got to work up to a contract, uh, a long-term contract. I think we're not sophisticated enough yet. We need a much bigger force. Um, seek your base raid. I kind of want to start fighting heavier mechs because I kind of want them. I want to salvage them. Let's turn all that up. Let's turn that down. What do you say? Okay. I can do this. Well, like, give me that at least. Do this. How about that? Oh, come on. All right, fine. Fine. Being stingy with their, uh, stingy with their contracts. So we actually have pretty good reputation with the Federated Sons, even though we keep botching every mission. But it's because we're, like, actually sticking with it. If we abandoned missions and stuff, they would, uh, probably like us less well. All right. I want to check this panther out here. So this thing weighs two tons, so three tons. I wonder how much an LRM... Because an LRM-5 might be pretty good with a PPC. That'd be a long-range panther. That could be kind of fun. Um, in the meantime... I'm tempted to throw more um, LRM ammo onto these Valkyries, but then it just makes them a missile boat and then they're useless. Like, at least they have a medium laser now. I don't know. It's hard to say. So how much do these things even weigh? Five tons. Hmm. Could also just strip their LRMs and turn them into, like, laser guys. I don't know. I don't know how much I want to mod those things. I might just end up selling them. I'm being truthful with you guys. I like to feel that we can be truthful with one another. Bring a panther in instead of that pansy Valkyrie. Uh, okay, what's our mission? Enemy patrol. All right. So this is just a simple seek and destroy. This is a big map, though. Be nice to have a scout. So, uh, yeah, the stream that I want to do later in the year for this game, um, you know, so much of this game can be modded with just editing the JSON files, the, the JSON files, basically. Um, you can edit the kinds of units that are in the game, the kinds of contracts you have, the maps, the planets, the graphics, every, literally everything. So this game is incredibly customizable, but it's like I didn't create a wiki or an instruction manual as I went. So all the knowledge like lives basically just in my head. And I really want to change that. You know, 
I mean, this game is basically a small little fan game. I think it'll have always a, a handful of people who find it interesting and might want to check it out. It's never going to be like massive and huge. I know that. But still, I would like it to... I would like people to not have to depend on finding me in order to answer basic questions about the game if they want to like mod it or change it because so much can be modded. Uh, and so the whole the whole point of the live stream is to like go through and like make some maps together, make some campaigns, show you guys how to like modify things, how to edit these uh, JSON files. I've also, one of the changes I made to the game's engine is that if you have a typo in your JSON file, the game used to just close instantly and you wouldn't really know why. It will still crash and the game will close, but before it does, it will pause and you'll be able to see the error that it's encountering so that you can actually edit and fix uh, your JSON files. So that's like a change that I made. Uh, to try and help people. Uh, there were a few other bug fixes and stuff that, uh, like, minor things that I fixed. I'll, I'll have, like, notes when I actually release this version, but... <clears throat> oh, man, where are these enemies? <clears throat> so this being a big map. So uh, another thing that I mentioned in my other video that I made, which, again, is on Patreon if anyone does want to watch it, um, is that I actually... This is the biggest map in the game. It was fan-submitted. And actually really like that it's so huge that you almost need scout units. Because in all the other maps, they're rather small, and there's really no need to have any scouting units. You can just come in, you can roll in with a bunch of assault mechs, and then you'll pretty much know where the enemy is right when you start and be able to crush them in a big battle. But in a map like this, it's like, not only do you need <clears throat> scout mechs, because it takes forever to find the opponent, but it's like, enemies will often be scattered about themselves, and so you don't necessarily engage a big ball of enemies all at once, which means you don't need to roll in with a bunch of assault mechs, which means your battles can be way more strategic. Like this one. Oh my god. An archer and a catapult. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is going to be a rain of missiles. Oh god. So many missiles. So many missiles. Take them down, man. Take them down. Crush them. We're using the swarm tactic. All right, now I think the dragon we can take. Jesus, Dervish has been getting pounded. All right, what do we got now? An awesome. See, this is a kind of the cool thing about like these units weren't all clumped up together. They did space out because the map was so big. So yeah, I kind of like. Wish there were more big maps and would love it if some people wanted to make some, but just as I said, for me, the thing that was literally stopping me dead in my tracks working on this game was the amount of time it takes to make maps and campaigns and stuff. And I was working on that stuff and then I realized I, I wasn't enjoying it. I was dragging my feet. I was going super slow and it was just hard. And it's like it stopped all the programming development of the game as a result. So, um, I think I've realized it's a limit of mine. I just can't make the campaigns and maps that I think the game deserves. So instead, I'm going to try and transmit the knowledge to you guys. If people want to make them, they can. But for me, I have to recognize I just don't, I just can't do it myself. You know what I mean? So know, your, know yourself. I was going to say Carpe Diem, but that sees the day. All right. 40% chance of salvaging an 80 10 Mac. What do we get? <sighs> an awesome that is unsalvageable. Damn, that would have been a sweet pick. Oh, that would have been so boss. Instead, we got a whole fistful of nothing. Repair up our units at least. Oh, they have another Centurion for sale. I really do. The Centurions have grown on me. I wasn't a fan of them back in the day, but I quite like them these days. Okay, well, let's see. Um, maybe I could sell a Valkyrie for a Centurion. Oh, these are all long-term campaigns. Oh, interesting. Large Scout Force, medium Scout Force. <clears throat> Jeez, look at that. 18 salad rights. This one seems more reasonable. Seven. Maybe there's just like two missions or three missions in here. Okay, I'm going to go against medium scout forces. And I want that other centurion. So let's see what they'll do about this. And... Uh... 
Something like this. I'll take I'll I'll bring the fulfillment down. I'll be realistic here. Oh. Oh. Oh, well. Except you have yourselves a bargain. Interesting. I like that counter offer. Looking for crew. Oh my god, get out of here. That guy wanted $73,000 for his services. I will... Damn. I guess I will hire you. Uh, but before I start hiring anyone else, I really should... My mech's in order. Alright, let's get a Centurion. And let's repair it up. 400000 Alright. Um... Do I even have, have an SRM6 I can throw on something? I have LRM10 ammo. Okay, so the two Centurions are coming to combat for sure. My two Enforcers can come in. So that's 200 tons right there. It's like 250. Two of those is like three. I mean... Yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight max. Pretty sure I negotiated for eight. What was my contract? Oh, yeah, we can take everyone into combat. We just need eight pilots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we do need one more crew member. Oh, you're hired. Oh, you're hired. Eh. Uh. 600,000 though. Should have hired him. Okay, we have we have crew and a few extras in case somebody dies. <laughs> so you got to plan to burst their unit. If if one of you guys were to die, what would I do? Um Okay. Do I want a mod of Valkyrie to take an LRM10 off? So, this is 6 tons right here. Oh, you could almost give it a large laser, which I think it could handle. What if we did this? Is this crazy? That's an interesting mod for a Valkyrie. Because it has 11 heat sinks, so it's 8, 11 heat right there. That's an extra 3. And light mechs are always running lo like low on heat generally, so... All right, I, that, that's an interesting mod, I think. We'll keep it. And then my LRM-10. Guess I can't really fit it on to an enforcer. My panther here. Oh, this is two tons, three tons, yeah. All right. That's probably enough modding centurions. All right. <clears throat> Seems okay. Let's see what this contract has. Oh, this is three missions. Interesting. All right. So we want... Centurion, a panther, our two Valkyries... And then our crew. Yeah, this guy gets the Centurion because he's the most skilled. You can have the Panther. And we have a bunch of green pilots. The good thing is even the greenest pilot of mine still uh, has good gunnery skills. Because <clears throat> if your gunnery skills are bad, your guys will definitely overheat their max. And that is like deadly. Locate and destroy enemy units. Okay, that's simple. I like it. And we have a pretty good size force. The guys are just jumping over the wall. That was a new feature I added a couple of versions ago. They can jump over walls. I actually want to redo the jumping mechanics in this game to have them sort of like actually jump as opposed to just sort of floating in the air, but... Who knows when that feature will come about. I can't make any promises. I, I need to not make promises when it comes to development of this game. 
got me into trouble in the first place. Yeah, that was just like a lone unit that attacked us. Where are the rest of his dudes? This guy was dude free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that Whitworth is going down. This is the kind of battle you want to see. This is a long term contract that's going to end in victory. Oh, that was easy. <clears throat> Ooh, we could salvage a PPC. There's no mechs, but I want to salvage that PPC. And now, do I want anything else? A. Now, see, my guys are all pretty well repaired, so there's no point in, like, taking these armor plates. It's unnecessary. Do I want the LRM-10? I don't... I'll pick scrap at the very last if I run out of stuff to salvage. I think I'll just leave it. I'll keep seven picks over two more battles, because there might be an exciting battle. All right, see, and now I have battle damage going into the next mission. This is a cool thing about the long-term contract. You really have to sort of mentally weigh, like, is it worth repairing my units? Plus, like, if you don't have, like, eight armor plates, you can't repair eight units. So you got to pick who's getting repaired and who's not. If you did bring extra mechs, if you're a mercenary unit with extras, you can swap in some extras. But, oh, shoot, Paulson got injured. That ain't good. We do need some extra crew. We only have one guy on standby. We need like a bench of uh, extras. Okay, patrol force again. El find and eliminate. We shall do it. I'm a little scared now. Because that last mission, there were so few enemies. Like, are we going to encounter a mission where there's like tons of enemies? Because these things balance out. Oh, they're all like way over there. So it's like we're supposed to be engaging with like medium-sized forces, and that was a small force, man. That's a tiny little force. Okay, we got a squad of locusts coming in. Three locusts and a wasp. Okay, that was easy. Nothing too scary there. Oh, here we go. Oh, here's the heavy ones. Two hunchbacks. Let's try and keep distance. We have a lot of LRMs for a reason. Shoot, we should be targeting that guy, actually. Keep your distance. Oh, God. They are firing on us. Okay, we got one. Let's just go for it. Can't kill us all, big boy! Alright, he's down. Now we just got a lone blackjack. Yes! Oof! Um, see, I like, this is more, well, they're both 15%, but this is obviously more exciting. Nah, blackjack. Do I even want to waste a salvage pick on this? I don't think I do. Because, like, what, I'm going to get a locust? Not too exciting. See, now this, I would like to repair armor on this guy and this guy. So, we only have one armor plates. Well, it's not going to the Valkyrie. So the Enforcer can have them. That's about it. Ooh, an autocannon 20 ammo bay might be useful, because at some point I might have autocannon 20s. So, I'll grab this as well. That's all I need. I don't need the machine guns. All right, what else do we got? This is our last mission. Enemy patrol is active in this region. Oh, this is very straightforward. Search and destroy. I'm just, like, clearing a planet. This is my damaged Valkyrie. He, uh... He's the medium laser guy. That's a shame. All right. This is a war-torn battlefield right here. Where are the enemies hiding? Where are they? Show yourselves. I don't want my forces to get too dispersed. Oh, there we go. The wasp. Warning. Incoming wasp. Oh, and a locust. Oh, and another locust. Oh, we're getting swarmed from all directions here. Oh, it's an urban mech. Panther. Okay, I like that these are all light mechs. It makes me feel like we probably got this. Yeah! Oh, that was so easy! We crushed it. 
Um, but now the thing is, like, we have four salvage picks left, and there's, like, nothing good. Whatever. Ah, it was a wasp. We didn't get it. I will take an auto cannon 10 and whatever, an SRM6. And some scrap. <clears throat> salvage complete. We did it! That was our first campaign! We survived! Um, yeah, what'd you guys think? I, I... Honestly, <clears throat> the whole reason I put like armor and internal repairs and stuff into the salvage list when I built the salvage was the idea was you were going to have these long-term campaigns and stuff. And uh, yeah, I think they still need some tweaking, um, but you know, there's potential there, I think. So that's an exciting new addition that uh, I can, I can work on honing that in future releases for sure. Um, okay, let's do one more mission, and then I think maybe we'll call it a New Year's Day. I say call it a day, but, you know, I'm, like, putting a spin on it. Um, let's, in fact, let's do a long-term campaign, and we just got to find a planet that has something exciting. Next for so, oh my god, a Thunderbolt. That's expensive. Well, that's an expensive Centurion. We were buying them for three million. I guess we were at a cheaper world. Okay, so this indicates we're probably at. Uh, you can sort of tell by like how expensive the mechs are. Whether you're at a world with gonna just gonna have heavier contracts, like uh, a medium assault force, yeah. <laughs> we would be annihilated. Annihilated. They might have good pilots over here, though. No, they literally have no one. Okay. Um, okay, we're getting too close to the action. Let's back off a bit. Let's see, mechs for sale. Okay, $3 million enforcers is like where, or sorry, centurions is where the world makes sense. Now let's see. Elimination of a skirmish force. Okay, let's just take a filler mission while we wait for a long-term contract. Pump that up. I don't need the advance. Wow, only three units, eh? How about just that? Um, in fact, I'm willing to even do this for less money. Just have a chance of salvaging a mech. How about that? What do you guys think about that? They really want to limit us to three units. If that's the case, then I don't need as much weight. One and seven. All right. I see. I want the options. I want the salvage options so we can see is there is there a mech to salvage? If you only have like a couple of options, there's a good chance there might have been a mech on the battlefield, but you'll never see it. So, um. <clears throat> Do we want to buy another mech? Oh, we can't even afford it. Um, should we sell a mech? Centurion, Panther. These Valkyries are not too exciting for me. I don't know. We won't make any rash decisions right now, but... Uh, I'm going to give Paulson a chance to rest, actually, so that she hopefully heals up, which means I'm going to bring... I can't even say this guy's name's name, DeSeth, into combat. DeSeth, Ghost... Ah, oh, man. I wish... <laughs> I wish Ranger didn't only have two hits. He's, like, so skilled, but, like, he's going to die. He's just going to get hit by an autocannon 20 and get killed at some point. Um, And let's go with... Let's just go all Centurion on this one. Centurion, Centurion. Oh, we don't have three Centurions. I guess we'll go Dervish. Centurion, Centurion, Dervish. I should modify this Dervish and take one of its LRM-10s off, throw on more ammo and stuff like that. Like, th I think that'd be a good mod for the Dervish. A little less punch, but a lot more staying power, you know? Uh, what was our mission again? Eliminate enemy forces. This this mission details thing is so handy. I can't believe it wasn't in the game before. Never programmed it. And speaking of JSON files, literally all of this was done with just JSON files. There was no code added to the game to add this mission screen. It was all with just editing those JSON files. So 
Once I show you guys the power of the JSON files, you'll literally be able to make custom game modes in this, like change the mechanics of everything, anything you want, anything you want, within a few limits, a few basic limits, but. <clears throat> All right, enemies, reveal yourselves. I have come to destroy you all. I feel vulnerable only taking three units in the combat. Like, what am I going to be facing? <laughs> and they wanted to give me three units, and what was it three units, but like 260 ton limit? It's like, what do you think I bring in like a bunch of battle masters? <laughs> I only got centurions, man. They're my. My biggest unit. <clears throat> oh my god, and we're outclassed. Alright. We gotta do this smart. There's a lot of PPCs on the field. Oh my god, they have a dervish too. Okay, I think um, we're gonna have to focus fire. That'll be our tactic. We'll hopefully lure them away. Focus fire them down. Okay, there's one. <clears throat> Do the same to this guy. If we can get to the high ground, that'll give us a bit of an advantage. It'll be easier for us to hit them and harder for them to hit us. Bring my damage guy back so he doesn't get killed. There we go. Alright, we got this. <clears throat> You're going down, man. Yeah, see, the Dervish, it's like, it's nice it has two LRM-10s, but it just ran out of ammo. It's almost better if it only had one. 50% chance, here we go! Or we could take a PPC, oh, that's a hard. 50-50 for a mech? No, we gotta go to the mech. Yes, we got a Dervish! Oh, I wish I had another pick, though. I really want that PPC. <clears throat> Well, that was definitely worth it. And nothing too exciting for sale, so that's okay. 600000 to repair this damn thing. But let's go into the mod shop, and let's mod our dervishes. Our dervish eye. We're going to take one of the LRM-10s off, and we're going to slam a bit more ammo on. Wow, that's a lot of ammo. You could just almost just take one off. You really need, even need to add more ammo. I guess I will. Just so they have a ton of it. Three tons, in fact. And then... <clears throat> SRM-2s... If I had more SRM-2 ammo, I'd give it to them, but I guess they don't really even need it. Medium laser... So three free tons. Crazy. Oh, I do have a PPC. Um, like, I almost feel like the mech is just more effective now. Even though I didn't do too much. Hold on, what about this? So if we just take off one LRM-10 and we add a large laser. Now we'll have a bit of ranged power. And we've basically doubled its ammo. I think, oddly enough, that makes sense, I think, in this game, because if you have two LRM-10s, you're just burning ammo twice as fast. Whereas this... Yeah... I don't know. I, for, it makes sense in my head. We'll try it. I can always mod the dervishes back if this turns out to be a disaster. We'll take that off, and... Oh, did I use the... Oh, I think I used the other large laser on the uh, Valkyrie. I think we're going to sell one of these Valkyries. Where is it? This one up here. I'm just going to take its equipment off. We're totally selling this thing. Okay, Dervish. Large laser. Oh, didn't go on. Didn't go on. There we go. Get in there. All right, large laser. Makes sense, I think. I do have a PPC. Could that go on anything? 
uh, Panthers already got one. I'm kind of looking at the how many um, <clears throat> heat sinks a mech has. Well, this is kind of interesting. So, let's see. This is 12 tons. So, 13 tons if I take this autocannon 10 off. And then I could throw on 13 tons. Okay, I'm going to spend some money to try and mod this mech. With a PPC. And then... Because he has 12 heat sinks, so he could, he could handle a PPC. And then an LRM-10... An LRM-10 ammo. Do I have another LRM-10 ammo? I do. Okay, I think... I will pull off one of these. The SRM-2s... They never run out of ammo. Yeah, that's an interesting enforcer. What do you guys think of PPC LRM-10 uh, Enforcer? That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay. Um, ooh, I'll grab an LRM-5. Not anything else? Nah. All right. Well, let's check our mechs out. Oh, I need to sell this Valkyrie that has literally nothing on it because I don't want to uh, accidentally take that into combat. <laughs> that would be bad. I could see myself doing that too, just like totally not paying attention, accidentally taking it into combat. All right, let's see what missions we got going on. Check available contracts. No long-term ones. Okay, a medium scout force, small small attack is what I want to do. I want to start fighting bigger mechs. Medium scout, yeah. Let's do a small attack force. I want that sweet salvage picks. Do two of those. Um, and I'll do it for very little money. That's the secret to getting them to agree to your salvage terms. Five units. Okay. I can do it with five. I can make that work. And any good crew. <laughs> you wish, buddy. I will hire you. I need some backup crews. Nah. Nah. All right. Well, <clears throat> so we can bring six units, five units. Okay, so we have uh, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. I'm liking the modded guys. The Centurions, I'm not super motivated to mod because I feel like the Centurion's actually a pretty solid build. Enforcers actually have more armor and heat sinks than the Centurions. Now I'm considering maybe the Enforcers are better, like once you mod them. Interesting. How are they better? Hmm, because like one PBC and an LRM-10 seems way better. What's going on? Why are the Enforcers so much better? Doesn't make any sense. Um... <clears throat> In fact, let's move this enforcer up in the world. Your your front row, buddy. Um, and then where did my centurion go? <clears throat> and then I want my modified dervish. I guess they're both modified. They're identical. Um, and so I'll bring my other modified dervish into combat. One twenty. It's actually the enforcers that have more armor. Huh. But I think the dervish has more firepower. Ah, she's rested up. That's good. I could bring her, but I kind of want to just level some other people. So we'll give other people a chance. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this. Oh, my uh, dervish is still colored. Uh, yeah, when you capture an enemy mech... 
it comes colored with uh the color that it it had when uh when you got it we'd have to color it uh we have to go to the paint shop and paint it if we want to change that okay i think we should just take out this building last time we didn't i want to have the option to flee if things turn bad basically Or actually, hold on. I have an idea. We can, like, lure guys away one by one. You want to fight us, buddy? <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, look at that. Just pick them off. Oh, down he goes. All right, we got one. See if we can lure another one away. Oh, these are archers, though. They hurt so bad. Every every volley of missiles like being hit by an auto cannon. Twenty. Okay, you back off. But you guys can engage. But back off. Oh, that was it. <clears throat> ah, no mechs. Uh, one day, our train will come in. We'll salvage the big one. <clears throat> All right. Pair up our mechs. Um, let's see if they have any good tech for sale. Nothing, really. Uh, I'll take an LRM5 ammo. It's good to have the ammos because... You know, you want to, like, deck out your mechs with a bit of extra ammo. Typically. Give them staying power. Um, geez, still no, uh, missions. Medium skirmish force. Okay. Well. How's that sit with you? Oh, the tonnage went up. I gotta fix that bug. I'm gonna fix it before I release it to you guys. You guys won't get to play with that feature. Be gone. Long gone by the time you guys get your hands on this updated version. Nobody. Didn't even check if there's any mechs for sale. Oh, another Centurion. But also another Enforcer. I think the Centurion has less armor than the Enforcer because it's using some of its weight for extra ammo. I think that's the difference. I kind of want both of these, though. Um, what have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six medium-ish mechs. I guess I will buy one more of these. I'll buy the Centurion because out of the box... It's like just more usable. I I feel like I got to um. I got to mod the enforcers before I feel happy with them. So I'll get another centurion just so we have it. And speaking of having the centurion, bring it into combat right now. Okay, crew. These guys are slowly getting skilled. Oh man, that guy is a ghost is insane. Nine, two. Yes, yeah, so a regular, elite, 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 regular. Stormbringer. Oh, she's about to pop into level six gunnery pilot. So she's behind him piloting. That's why she's green. Bulletproof. Yeah. They're all at like decent skill levels. I'm going to let them keep leveling up. I don't want to pull them. <clears throat> even though I could put more experienced pilots in, I want my... We're not doing missions that are, like, insane. So I want my guys to be, uh... To gain some experience. All right. Ooh. Look at this. Three hunchbacks! <laughs> Have mercy. Good thing we got long-range weapons. Oh, what are you doing?! No, come back further. Oh, God. 
I felt those. I saw those auto cannon hits. And just the armor just peel off of these guys. Alright, might as well just engage. Jeez. You're lucky to be alive, bulletproof. Bulletproof. Pro tip. You're not bulletproof! Oh, jeez. BP's going down. Get out of there! You madman. Oh, God. Alright, bulletproof. You need to sit back and not engage for a little while. More hunchbacks. Damn. So every house has, like, prevalent units, and I know that Hunchbacks are prevalent in the Draconis Combine, and we're fighting them right now. That's why we keep encountering so many Hunchbacks. Also, Jenners, Panthers, um, Dragon Mechs, you know, there's like a handful of, like, Mechs that are common in different houses. And for, you know, House Davian or Davian or whoever we're with, uh, we keep seeing Centurions and Enforcers for sale because those are some of the prevalent Mechs in their house, so it's like... You see them all around in uh, different planets for sale. Uh, is that another hunchback? Dear God. Maybe we'll salvage one, who knows. Let's just take this stupid building down while we can. This guy's just hiding back, trying not to die. Another one! My god! It's crazy. Alright, we got him. <sighs> hey, I wonder what mechs these are. <laughs> 50 ton chass uh, yeah, chassis. Oh, it wasn't an enforcer. It wasn't even a hunchback. Hey, we got one! <laughs> kind of wish it was the enforcer, to be honest, though, actually. Um, there's nothing else good to salvage. I guess we'll take the small laser, and... I think we'll probably just throw some armor plates on something. There you go. Oof! That was a battle! How much is the hunchback to repair? 500,000. Question is, do I want to repair it? Hmm. Actually has a, uh... An interesting chassis. They have quite a few... They have quite high armor. And heat sinks. But I feel like the autocannon 20 is just overkill for a mech that size. Um, so let's see what we could do with this in theory. Like we would take this off. Now we have 16 tons to play with. That's a lot of tons. I don't think I have an autocannon. Oh, I do. So we could downgrade its autocannon to an autocannon 10. We could give it, I'd like to give it at least two tons of armor, which I don't have, so it has one for now. I have some LRM 10s I can throw on. Oh, I don't even, it doesn't even have the space. To throw on an LRM 5. That's two tons. And that thing only needs one ton of ammo. I don't know. Hard to say if that's worth it or not. It definitely would be armored. I don't know. I, I won't repair it right now, but I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to sell it yet either. Man, oh my god. Oh, well, that's the Centurion who I threw armor on. I was going to say, how'd he get so damaged when his armor is pristine? <clears throat> All right. Oh, we got a Hunchback. That's, that is exciting. Um, All right, medium skirmish forces. A lot of salvage. That's the highest the picks will go. Um, I don't need an advance. And if I'm bringing nine units, I want like 460 tons, 70 tons. What do you say? Oh, a thousand tons. <laughs> oh, okay then. Yeah, that's uh, that that works. I will accept that mission. All right, this is a big one for us. This is like the big contract that we got. Oh, you're hired. 
You're in, buddy. Okay, we got we got a good sized crew. I think I will repair the uh, hunchback because we do want to be able to bring it into combat. I don't even know if it'll be like a first pick, but it's like now that we're going on a long term campaign, I want extra mechs in case we need them. Um, all right. <clears throat> So let's bring our Enforcer and our Hunchback. And then in Battle Group 3, we'll bring a Panther because it's long range. Now we just need crew for all this. Okay, so I am going to bring Paulson out of Cold Storage. You can pilot the Hunchback. Bechtel, you can be in the Panther. And, oh, actually. Why don't you go in the Centurion? Yeah. I want to sort, sort of cycle out my guys with low health, to be honest. So, actually, why don't you go there? Hot dog. There we go. All right, that looks pretty good. What is our mission? Engaging a strategic raid to destroy a key facility. One of four. Oof. I mean, a lot of missions in this one. This is exciting. A, a, a four campaign on our, uh, like our hunchback is still Draconis Combine colored. It's funny, you know what? This was actually a bug. When, uh, when I was developing the game and I was adding in the fact that you could salvage enemies, it was actually a bug that they were kept the same color as the enemy they used to be when you salvage them but I kind of like that idea so much I was like yeah they should be colored whatever color they happen to be until you go and repaint them so that actually motivated me to add a paint shop to the game and leave them colored as the enemy unless you actually intentionally repaint them so funny how things work like that little unintended feature alright this guy's totally going down yeah. All right, who else we got? Nobody else guarding this thing? Want to see if there are any other defending units, then we'll come in and crush the building if need be. Centurion, yeah. See, these kinds of, like, base raid missions are easy because the enemies are usually scattered out to try and defend, so this isn't too bad, but... Ooh, a hatchet, man. All right, well, that was remarkably easy. Oh, man, a lot of, uh... Oh, we could use another autocannon 10 ammo. Okay, we'll grab this, and I'm going to grab the LRM-10. And other than that, do I want to repair anything? No, not really. Eh, I mean, it's like borderline. Could slap some... Oh, I don't even have any armor options, so it doesn't matter. All right, we got four, three other missions to get through, so we're going to save our salvage picks. See what else we got. You'll be engaging in a strategic raid to destroy a key facility in an enemy base. Oh, it's another base raid. We can do these. Um, oh wait, I'm defending? <clears throat> oh, that's weird. Why did it spawn me here if I'm... Oh, yeah, I think the mission description there is just a little messed up. I'm on the defense on this one. I should need to go check that, actually. One of the JSON files might have an error. <clears throat> All right, the enemies are going to be coming to us. Stay frosty, everybody. Oh, there they are. I think they jumped over the walls. Phoenix Hawks, eh? Coming in for the kill. Stop attacking the building! <laughs> so for these defense build uh, missions, you do have to try and intercept the units before they get too close to the building, or they will take pot shots at it. And your efforts to defend the building, you'll, stray shots of yours will probably hit the building, so you don't want to fight too close to the building that you're actually trying to defend. Oh, stop. Stop it. 
Alright, everybody just go nuts. Engage whoever you want. Oh my god, they're still coming. Oh. Okay, I actually do have to space my guys out. Because we need to, like, intercept these guys. Oh. You back off so you don't get killed. Oh god! Oh! Look at the health on that building. Defense missions are hard. Ooh, we can just straight up get a Phoenix Hawk. So sometimes there's like a mech on the field that's just obviously salvageable. So of course we're gonna take the guaranteed PHX. Okay, what kind of repairs do we want? <clears throat> if any, we only have one internal. It would obviously probably go in the Panther here. The question is, do we even want to do that? Instead, I definitely want the LRM-10. And I will take the LRM-5. Gonna take the large laser. I guess I will take two medium lasers, too. And I'm gonna throw the internal components on this guy. Why not? There's really nothing else we can repair. Okay, we'll save... Our remaining salvage. We've got two more missions. Um, now, where's that Phoenix Hawk? Oh, I think it's too damaged to use. We'll have to repair it outside of combat, but we have it now, which is exciting. All right, you will be engaging a strategic raid. So I don't know if we're going to actually raid or defend. Okay, this definitely looks like a raid. Oh, I know what's happening. The mission descriptions are not updating. So our first mission was a, a defensive raid, but these are different missions. This is, okay, this one, we are intercepting enemy forces. All right, that's a bug. We just encountered a new bug together. Um, all right. Engage that guy. Engage that guy. So we have to stop the enemies from getting to these evac points. Okay, that guy I feel like is going to make it. Kill him. Oh. oh, we got him. Okay. I think one guy got by us. Two guys. Go, 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 go. Take him down. Oh, target this guy. Get him. Oh, we got another one. Okay, I think we got enough that our mission won't be a failure. But definitely if you let too many through. Yeah, we intercepted over 50%, which is good, but it's not so good that they're super excited. You have to do over 75%. So actually, we will lose some money on our, uh, on our final payment because we did only mediocre there. Damage chassis. Ooh, we got a trebuchet. Exciting. I'll take the LRM-15 ammo, the autocannon-10 ammo. All right, we got one more mission. We are actually, that mission actually did beat us up. So I'm going to use the internals on this guy. And... I'm going to use the internals on this guy. And I am going to use the armor plates. I'll use on this guy. Now he has one damaged medium laser, but I'm not going to use. I want to. I only have two salvage picks left. I want to save them in case there's like a mech or something in the final. So we're just going to have to try and get through this last one. 
Um, yeah, so the, the mission debriefing helps us in no way because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Gotta fix that. Um, yeah, it doesn't help here either. So this is... I think we're defending. I think we are... Yeah, we're defending again. Well, the good news is if we fail this mission, we've already gone through a lot of the salvage, so it is what it is. Okay, you will stay there. You will go here. And you guys will go here. That should cover most of our bases, so we can kind of see where the enemy's coming from. And... Take him down. Punchbacks. All right. Engage this guy. Engage this guy. Don't let him near. Oh, they're getting shots off. Jerks. Oh, geez, back off, man. Jeez, it's a bunch of hunchbacks swarming us. Hold your own! What do they say in Starship Troopers? Let's go, you apes! You ought to live forever! Hold what you've got! Oof! Okay. <laughs> that building did get pretty beat up, but... We survived. Alright, two more picks. Hey, we got another hunchback! This is exciting. You always roll the dice on those. And then... I think we'll take some scrap to give us a bit more cash. An extra 100,000. Makes up for the, like, probably the contract where we let some uh, enemy units through. Um, all right. Well, I feel like this has been a very successful New Year's Eve Let's Play. Uh, we got to play around with a game that I had been working on for, man, I think it's over a year at this point. Um, you guys got to see the new long-term missions feature. Again, I think there could be some tweaks to improve this, but it's like the first iteration, and we even encountered a bug together, which now I'm going to have to go and fix. So, so you can never play your own game when you're a programmer because you just end up stopping playing, and you go, you either add features or you debug things. So it is the curse of being a developer. But three new mechs, that's super exciting. Um... I just, I have to see, I gotta see what's in the box. Let's see if there's any cool contracts here. Merrick Scout Force. Um, yeah, as I say, I want to do a live stream with this where I show you guys the inner workings in even more detail, but I think, you know, the 1001 series is going to come back in about a week or so. Usually I don't do it right after New Year's, but I think we should save this and we should keep on going with this a bit. Um, so I'm going to call it, save this under the no cheating game. <laughs> and the game just crashed well it was a fun run while we had it hey another bug for me to hunt down i gotta figure out why it just crashed so that sucks but um okay anyway it crashed whatever i gotta fix it so i i will come back i do want to play more of this but i think what we'll do uh that does suck all of our progress just got lost um, but what we'll do is maybe we'll cheat, give ourselves some money, and we'll buy up a handful of mechs until we're about where we were in terms of power level. And then we'll do some more contracts and continue, continue to build up our crew. So, um, guys, it's been fun. Hopefully, you're you're looking forward to a great New Year's Eve. You're, you got some fun stuff planned. I hope you guys have fun tonight. Thank you for staying with the channel. Thank you for enjoying things. Um, and... If you are watching this because you're a Battletech fan, more will come on the ongoing development of this game. And I'm sorry it's been so slow. Sorry I haven't really been on the Discord. It's just sort of, you know, what I had to do to literally survive. So um, once I get a few of these bugs fixed, I'll push out this newer version so you guys can have fun with the long-term contracts along with me. But uh, yeah, we'll probably play more of this in a couple of days in the new year. Until then, my friends, happy new year, have fun, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Till then, my friends. Peace.